What's up, Brand Builder? I'm Nash Ponigala, and welcome to another episode of the Brand Builder Show. In this episode, how to make your brand interesting. If you want your brand to connect with the people that are going to keep making it a success, personalizing your image is a priority. Personalizing the brand image is a priority. But you already probably knew that, right? What brand identity means in practical terms is forming meaningful connections and giving people the personal interaction that drives interest and sales. The internet has changed the way that people communicate. And today, branding is taking on a level of uh, interactivity that makes engaging customers more important than ever before. Creating interest in your brand can take advantage of uh, social media to reach people in ways that simply weren't possible um, a few years ago. And build up a, grand, a great brand image that will keep your company relevant. The downside of this new way of interaction is um, the digital kind of haze that most people live in. And if you want to reach your customers, your brand will need to find ways to float into areas that your customers love. The good news is that once you have their attention, it has never been easier to connect with potential customers using online communication and build up awesome relationships that will keep your brand um, you know, going, going around or banging around in their mind. So where does your brand exist? I'm going to assume that your company already has an amazing logo and, and brand identity. And it's tastefully sort of used everywhere and you know that so that it can do some uh, good for your image. If this is not the case, you will need to address this uh, critical thing immediately. Once the logo is out of the way, you can focus on connecting with your potential customers. In the days before the internet, a business had to rely on person-to-person -person contact if they wanted to build up uh, an interactive kind of a brand image. But now that relationship is much easier to create. You're probably thinking, why is this guy talking about such basics? Well, yes, they are basics. And uh, you know, when I say uh, a few years ago, the internet was not there and therefore you, you would have had trouble building relationships. I don't mean that um, as if it was just happening recently. What I'm trying to say is that talking about basics is very important. You would be surprised how many brands really have no clue on how to engage their customers or at least take advantage of the new medium. And I still call it a new medium because tons and tons of brands out there uh, do not take advantage of the new way of interacting with customers, building relationships. And that by itself is, you know, something that you need to talk about, something that you need to think about. Of course, if your company has a retail presence or provides a, a physical service, it is still important to make sure your team knows how to treat people the right way. These connections are everything when it comes to putting a face on your brand. And the online space makes that relationships much easier to kind of reinforce. It may sound like a simple thing, but it makes sense to think about any and all the places that your company may come in contact with both the public and other businesses. And I just don't mean um, people that are potential customers uh, only. Your suppliers and service providers are also powerful connections that can sort of harness for networking and building your business. For example, if the guy that delivers um, shipping to your doorstep loves stopping at your place, then make sure that he has a way to, to share how much he enjoys working with your brand. Today, any connection between your brand and the outside world has the potential to personalize your brand image. So don't overlook anything. Think positive. It should go without saying that anytime someone interacts with your brand, they should walk away feeling like a a uh, big old bag of uh, bitcoins. The way your brand approaches this will vary based on the sector you operate in, uh, but adopting a positive, constructive attitude is vital. Marketing as we understand it was uh, today, was a product of the 20th century, 
and relied heavily on one-way communication. Think about how any of the major brands on their use of uh, celebrities or super attractive people in their adverts. Today, the world is drowning in supermodels with a very jaded public looking for real connections. Your brand can make use of this dynamic by being available for two-way communication and give your potential customers experiences that will help them um, see your brand as human as possible and approachable. Some companies use pictures of their employees to establish this, but there are other ways that are also effective. For example, if your brand provides an online service of some kind, creating videos is a, is a really good move. There can be industry-specific webinars, but your employees can also just make uh, videos that provide helpful content. Regardless of how you decide to you know, craft media for free distribution, the real trick is to use it as a starting point for online interactions via you know, the comment section or social media for, for sharing and so on. Once you have some killer content on your hands, it is time for the real fun to begin. People like to talk online and you can use that to build, a, uh, build up a stellar brand image. You will need to have an exceedingly professional social media operator who can uh, kind of chat up the word on your behalf if you don't want to do it yourself. Once the comments start to fly in, then they can jump in and keep the, go uh, keep the party going. The real power for brand building in social media lies in the public's love for interesting content. Your online chatterbox should know how to direct the conversation in an interesting direction so that people feel like they're having a great interaction with your brand. This whole process also acts as a sales pitch, but one that relies on the image to work. Don't use these uh, the interactions to, to simply push your products because then your company will come off very salesy and people will be turned off completely. When you create an image based on authentic interactions, the public will enjoy learning more about your products or services. The goal should be um, creating engaging conversations and amazing organic content. Think about it like a, a conversation at a party that anyone online can have access to. This kind of content strategy will go a lot further in the social media sphere than normal marketing efforts. And also, give your, your kind of audience something to share with their friends and you know, family and associates. Don't worry about negative comments. In fact, use them. There is a natural aversion to dealing with uh, negative content or negative comments, but this is a missed opportunity to sort of humanize your brand. In a perfect world, everything would um, sort of work flawlessly and no one would ever make mistakes. But this isn't how reality works. And your brand can use problems to show how much you care about your customers and your target audience. When someone starts to complain about a problem with your brand, don't worry, you know, start talking to them on Twitter or Facebook. Make sure that your employees use their names and are sincere in their desire to learn about the problem. The positive uh, associations that this will create with your brand are obvious, but it also serves to demonstrate how much your company cares about its customers. In the end, the companies that are able to create the feeling of honest, direct interaction online will be able to bridge the social gap that the internet has created. We're moving towards a world where people are able to insulate themselves to a, a degree that never existed before. So making sure that, uh, making sure they wanna let your company communicate with them is extremely important. I hope you found this episode useful. If you have any questions about this episode, please hit me up on Twitter. My handle is at Bonigal or leave comments below this video and I will surely respond. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. Click on the subscribe button. Till my next video, take care.